Here is the harness stripped of its protective shielding, the uh, black electrical tape and the split loom protective covering. And uh, you can see we have quite a few wires that uh, just will eventually fall out of the harness. So all of the, um, the connectors remain intact that we need, including the engine connectors, the igniter, mass airflow, pressure sensors, ECU, some spare relay connectors that we're gonna save for fans, the um, fuel pump and main ignition relay, and we have the OBD2 connector over here, and all the rest, diagnostic and select monitor, all the rest um, have been clipped away, and that was during the pull of the harness. So we snip things like the stereo and the stuff that goes to the back of the uh, Subaru. So next up, the next thing to do is to eliminate all this excess wire. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pull out each of these and if they actually junction into another line that makes its way to the ECU or to one of these relays, we're going to leave it, we're gonna identify it later. But for now, we're just getting rid of the bulk of the uh, spare wire here. So what I like to do at this stage is all these spare wires, we're just gonna see if any of them pull out, like that one pulls out and it's pretty obvious, they'll just kinda like flake out. You don't wanna be too rough, but also don't don't baby it, it's okay. <laughs> so, this whole clump right here kind of just pulls out. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to pull out all these wires. Just to kind of clean it up so that we can start identifying the wires that we need to keep. Another set that kind of comes out. And once you do this for about 30 seconds, you'll get the hang of it. And using knives and scissors and so forth, you uh, obviously want to be real careful to not nick or cut any wires. Okay, this is a good one right here. This, this guy. This is a blue with an orange stripe. This is a good one for you to see. I'm just pulling it back to the ECU here. You can see it doesn't uh, connect to anything on this side. It's been clipped off. And on this side, it will ultimately terminate at the ECU. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking to identify these types of wires. These wires that we will identify later and figure out what they actually went to and figure out if we actually need them. So I'm just going to set that there for now, and we're going to continue stripping the harness. Okay, and this wire goes to this relay here and it essentially just tees into a bunch here. It's a trigger wire for this relay. So I'm just gonna clip it and put it with that relay. One side of the diagnostic test mode connector. So this one is also gonna be coming out of the stack here. And the way that this connector operates is it, it actually puts the computer into test mode and that allows you to test your radiator fans, your fuel pump, it tests a whole bunch of other things too. 
And the way you um, operate it is you plug these two green connectors in. And when you put your uh, key to ignition on, you'll hear your fuel pump click on, your fans will cycle, and a few other things such as your idle air control valve in the engine bay. That'll cycle on. And what happens is this pin on the ECU, this wire goes to a pin on the ECU. And if you ground that, it will put it into test mode. So that's all that this other side is, is it's just a ground. So you can see that it ties into this black red wire and this is just a just a ground that's it so that's that's how the test mode operates click them together it's now in test mode turn the key to ignition on not start but just ignition on and you can test your arrangement before you do your first start just to make sure your fans and your fuel pump are all operating correctly we're just going to put this near the ECU Okay, here are two more wires going into our identification pile. <laughs> and here's our fuel pump wire. This is a uh, pretty thick gauge black and red wire. It goes to the fuel pump relay. So we're just going to coil that guy up. 